one of the important qualities for an UPSC aspirant is curiosity on the things happening around us. Even after cracking the examination, as a civil servant also, this curiosity helps you to be a better administrator. That's why UPSC tests this quality at all the three stages of the examination. For example, if you observe the prelims paper, this year there was a question on bisphenol A about which you can write if you understand about the polycarbonate, the plastic bottles in which we drink the water. And last year there was a question on you know, trans fatty acids about which definitely you will be knowing if you have a habit of going through the biscuit packet and the chocolate or the lace packet cover that you regularly eat. So it's all about observing the things that you are doing and things around you. And even there was a question on the star rating of the appliances. We have electrical appliances the home appliances in our home but generally most of us do not try to observe that but those people having the curiosity will actually try to understand about the star rating same is the case with the mains exam also in mains exam also there were questions that can be answered only by the general observation of things around us even at the stage of interview you might have observed that many questions would be around from which college you have come and explain the structure of the building of that college or the district that you came from, which crop is grown mostly, which soil is there, or the things happening around you, about a society in which you know you came from. So it's all about testing the candidate's curiosity and understanding of things which are in his close vicinity. So what I observed is some candidates naturally have this curiosity. So it is inbuilt in their character. They would have additional advantage in answering the UPSC prelims as well as mains and three questions. But if you think you do not have that habit, if you think you are a person who has only bookish knowledge, then it's time to actually develop their curiosity. It's very important. However, I am not advising you to read about everything happening around you. On specific issues which are important for you or society, the technological issues, environmental issues, or health or diet issues, on such kind of issues, you definitely have to have curiosity. For that, one advice is just go through last four to five years of question papers and try to see on which general aspects questions are coming from and on those aspects try to develop some curiosity which would help you not only to crack this examination but also to become a better civil servant after cracking the examination.